I'll be speaking about endometrial biopsy. Definition. This is a sample of the endometrium, which is the inner layer of the uterus. Indication. This is done to evaluate abnormal uterine bleeding. The most recent ACOG technical bulletin from July 2012 states indications as follows. Greater than 45 years old with abnormal uterine bleeding or a patient who is less than or equal to 45 years old with abnormal uterine bleeding plus risk factors. The following are considered risk factors. Obesity, chronic anovulation such as polycystic ovarian syndrome, tamoxifen use, women with hereditary non-polyposis colorectal cancer, unopposed estrogen, failure to respond to medical management, and atypical glandular cells of undetermined significance on pap smear. Considerations prior to performing an endometrial biopsy should include knowing the patient's pregnancy status, considering a pre-procedure mesoprostol to assist with the ease of the procedure, also consider prophylaxis for pain and or anxiety. This is a picture of the instrument tray, which includes a speculum, tenaculum, betadine, dilator, specimen container, and the endometrial biopsy device itself. There are several devices available to perform an endometrial biopsy. Here is a picture of two of the most common. One is a pipel and the other is a vacuum syringe curette. Risks of the procedure would include infection or perforation of the uterus, 